Have you guys heard any myths working here? Any, has anybody told you, um, like, hey, this is a myth? I don't know about here. I just, I just hear things every, like, everyone has a different um, saying or has a different opinion on the typical myth, per se. So, for example, it hurts to check your credit score. Um, I've heard that it doesn't. I've heard that it does. It doesn't. I, I know it doesn't, but yeah. um, just kind of speaking on that and why it even is a myth in the first place. So that would be one of them. Checking your credit hurts your credit. Be and the reason is because there would be an inquiry, but there's a difference between you checking your credit and like a car dealership checking yeah. your credit or a bank checking your credit because you've requested to take out a credit card. That could affect your credit. It's normal. It just happens, you know, but you going in there, I check my TransUnion one all the time. Hasn't moved. <laughs> There's a lot of misconceptions and there's a lot of things people don't understand and people are kind of obsessed with it. Working at TransUnion, I hear a lot about credit health. What does it mean to have healthy credit? Yeah, so it's actually very simple. People make it out to seem more complicated than it actually is since we were talking about myths, but it's actually quite simple. So the first thing to know is, you know, everybody's always talking about a credit score, right? Like you have to make sure it's a great score. There's more than one kind of score. There's different scoring models. So what you really want to focus on more than anything is healthy financial habits. So that looks more like, hey, let's pay off this card and like whatever I put on this credit card, let's pay that off in full every month. Let's not try and get some interest on here. Whatever you're using, make sure you're using 30% or less of the available debt that you have available. So this is just for easy math. Let's say you have $10,000, right? Use 3,000 or less. Right, so it's more stuff like that, and when you do those kinds of things over the long term, then your credit health is going to be fine. How does being denied for credit affect your credit health? Yeah, so has anybody been denied? Do we have any story? If you want to admit that, no, but I've had <laughs> friends who have. You've had friends get denied. You know, don't necessarily see it as oh, I'm never going to get this. See it more as okay, well, what do I need to improve on? And they'll they'll let you know. So you mentioned um, what to do when you get um, denied from a credit card. Um, what are some like first steps to take right after you get denied? So the first step is they actually have to tell you why you were denied. Um, and it could look like different things. Maybe you're not making enough money. Maybe you didn't have enough credit history, multiple things. So look at why they denied you. And then that's going to give you a good starting point of what you need to work on next.